What's good, y'all, man? It's your boy, Cozy Joe, and we are back with another reaction, y'all. This video right here is called Scooby-Doo, Where Are You in Spring Trapped? Now, I don't know if this is like what, some type of Scooby-Doo mixed with Five Nights at Freddy? I really don't know. But apparently, from what I'm assuming, that this might be some type of horror flick. So without further ado, y'all, hope y'all like and subscribe and enjoy the show. Let's see what's going on. I right, got the analog VHS type beat going on. Okay. Okay. Renegman, that's what it mean. Fly man, fly man, that's what it mean. On video. Okay. Scooby Dooby Dooby. Where are you? We got some work to do now. Hold up. This a stop motion. Come on, Scooby Doo. Let me see your butthole. Shut your Okay. I can already tell, you know, like seeing seeing stuff like this, I can already tell that it's gonna have a really creepy, spooky vibe to it. You know what I'm saying? With the little puppets and all that. Seeing those type of videos right there, seeing those type of videos always creep me out. For some reason it do, I don't know why. Take and shiver. Uh, uh, uh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What? Pause. Okay. Y'all think Scooby doing them surviving? Um, what is it called Spring Trap Bonnie? Is that that's what it's called? Y'all think Scooby Doo really gonna like survive that? Nope. Cause you know like they barely really tapped in anything real. Most of it just been criminals, people doing tax fraud or something like that. You know, really, this nigga trying to get back for money. Ain't no real actual murders, you know what I'm saying? Maybe they have. I don't know. Maybe they actually have. I really don't know. But this is like the real deal. Y'all y'all think that Scooby-Doo can solo that? We about to find out, though. Scooby-Doo! Yeah, I used to know, like, the lyrics. Oh! I better not get copyrighted. Cause nigga, they got the music and everything. I better not get copyrighted. Freddy's Fast Beer Pizza. They really made this into an actual episode. Oh, oh Scooby Doo is actually creepy, bro. Wait, 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 bro. Is this AI or is this like an actual voice cast? If, if, if so, they did an amazing job. If it's AI, you know, that's amazing too. But an actual voice actor, bro? Sound just like them. I rock with that. All right, gang, let's unload. Oh, man, this take me back, bro. You know what I'm saying? Waking up early in the morning with your grandma. Looking at boomerangs and Scooby Doo pop up. It was just open when we pulled up. Well, Scoob, like I think we're gonna have to party another day. I like Scoob. Hey, what's that? That's not a sandwich we're eating. That's my ass. Like I don't think we should stay to find out. A security guard. What are you guys doing standing around out here? Well, we came for a birthday party, but the place is closed. That's strange. I'm not supposed to lock up for another hour. Okay. Have to close shop early. That can't be possible. I'm the only one here. Sounds to me like we have a mystery on our hands. All right. So, like, is, is the cop just gonna let them go in willy nilly? I guess so. You know what I'm saying? Here, you guys can set up camp in my office. You sure run a tight ship around here. Burglars must really like pizza. It's not the burglars I'm asking. Bro, bro, this sounds so authentic, man. This sounds so authentic. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I like this. Oh, 
I like that. It really take me back, you know what I'm saying? I think I started watching Scooby-Doo because my mom, my mom, she put me on with Scooby-Doo. I used to have every Scooby-Doo movie. I know y'all probably don't care, but listen, I had every Scooby-Doo movie. Even, even when Scooby-Doo and the gang were like little kids and Scooby-Doo was a pup, I had that too. Y'all don't even know nothing about Scooby-Doo cousin. Yeah, y'all probably didn't even know Scooby-Doo had a cousin. And he's white. Like a white dog. I forgot his name though. Marcis? Marcellus or something? I don't know. What y'all know about Shaggy with his red shirt? Y'all don't know that Shaggy had a red shirt. Y'all probably didn't know that. It's already inside. What do you mean, inside? Here, I'll show you. I need TP for my bunghole. Jinkies, that's quite the security system. You see, our animatronic band has been acting funny. Uh, during the day, they sing just fine. But at night, he just doesn't want to stay put. Okay, so they just start moving. The bunny trail. We should keep an eye out for clues. Already on it, Fred. Look at this. Why? That's Mr. Henry Emily, the owner of the restaurant. I wonder who the What about William Afton? Is he is he going to pop up? Whoever he is. It looks like he's wearing a bunny costume. I'm sure Scooby can help us sniff it out. Wait a minute. Where are Shaggy and Scooby? They probably went over there to eat some pizza, no one do. But I thought that nigga had a had a nipple on his mouth. Locked in a pizza parlor overnight. Like this is so much better than a haunted house. Let's find the Oh no, bro. So this is supposed to be a new pizza place, right? This is supposed to be a pizza place with cobwebs everywhere. Okay. Okay, you know, that's that's the classic Scooby-Doo. You know what I'm saying? Scooby-Doo in the game be like, yeah, man, we just got invited to a wedding, but now since we pulled up, nobody's here and the wedding is closed. And them niggas, they just go ahead and go inside willy-nilly. I was like, shoot, I know y'all some, what, investigators, detectives or something? But, bro, I'm, be, I'm gonna be real with you. If I get an invitation to a wedding and I pull up and it's closed, I don't care after that. I'm gone. They can text me and be like, oh, man, where were you at? I'm at home. You know what I'm saying? Nobody was there when I showed up. Y'all told me to show up at that spot at that time. You think I'm gonna walk into a wedding function with, with the lights turned off? No cars on the outside? I don't even care. Y'all throwing a surprise party. I'm turning around. I'm not gonna go inside and investigate. Next thing you know, niggas gonna make me a wedding pie. Look, like, <laughs> is it raggy? Where's the pizza at, though? <laughs> bro, these niggas said pizza sauce, bro. That's crazy. Nah, they're gonna be sick when they find out it's blood for real. You know what I'm saying? What what's his name? William Afton. He don't got trapped up inside that soup. Knowing that Shaggy and Scooby, they're not the smartest ones in the bowl. I bet you, I bet you they're gonna lick it. I bet you they're gonna lick it. Talk about some mmm, it's kinda savory, sour, metallic taste to it. It must be some old pizza sauce. This is perfect, though. <laughs> well, that's spooky. It's like whoever took all the pizza walked straight through this wall. Rose. <laughs> <laughs> do with all that pizza. Nah, that's actually pretty creepy. <laughs> nah, that's exactly how it will go, too, bro. They playing music like it too. That's crazy. Are we really watching a whole Scooby Doo episode? I never thought it would ever come to this. <laughs> Bro, that's so real.
Hey, 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 hold up. <laughs> hey. Hey, y'all think what I'm thinking, right? Y'all think what I'm thinking, right? Scooby-Doo bent over up under the table like that. Y'all thinking what I'm thinking, right? If you're thinking like that, get your head out the gutter. I was just thinking about just pulling the dog out and tickling his tummy. That's really it. But y'all, whatever y'all thinking, y'all into that bestiality mess. Not me, though. Not me. Whatever y'all thinking, that's on y'all. I ain't gonna lie, bro. This song kind of bop a little bit. Nick, we really watching a Scooby-Doo episode. I want y'all to, like, really fathom this. It's like kids back in the day, 50, 60-something years ago, was sitting right in front of their TV, clapping up their hands and laughing. Oh, hold up. Of course, of course she lose her glasses. Now hold on now, now, hey, now hold on, she kind of arched up though. What's going on Velma? Relax. Niggas on my song, raw. Nah, we gotta... <laughs> We got we gotta play that one back a little bit. Nigga talking about some raw. Look, listen, listen. That's really how it be though. The thing is, it's like when they try to like un unmask them, is it just gonna be a really crushed up face, or they just won't actually able to un unmask them? You know, like y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Or am I just yapping? I know I be yapping a lot. I am a professional yapper. So that's it. It's like that. I gotta hand it to you, kids. I never would have found this secret room without your help. But one question still remains. What's going on with that bunny? Why, don't you recognize him? Oh, wow. It's William Afton. And he's actually purple. Henry Emily's old <laughs> business partner. William was jealous of Henry's success, so he created the ghost of Springtrap to scare customers away from Freddy's. But I thought the bunny was a robot. He had us fooled for a while, too. But with his patented spring lock technology, he was able to make the suit appear to be a robot by day. Like a totally spooky ghost bun. Wait a minute. So then, okay, okay, all right, all right. I got, I got something. I don't know too much about the lore, but I'm gonna say this. It might piss off a lot of people though. But I want y'all to educate me. What if all this happened before he got crushed up in that suit, right? Cause you know, like he's purple. You know what I'm saying? Like, was he purple before the suit? Or I, how did they? How did the nigga even turn purple? I never played Five Nights at Freddy games. I still need to catch up on the lore by a long shot. So y'all really gonna have to let me know. Like y'all gonna have to inform your boy for real. How did, how in the world did he turn purple? Did he just get into some mythic lean or something? And that's how he turned purple? How in the H-E double hockey sticks do you turn purple? Matter of fact, matter of fact, I'm not even asking the important questions. How do you get Darth Vader into a suit and still survive? Y'all know what I mean by Darth Vader, that, that nigga is constantly suffering, but this guy got crushed, literally. He has got crushed. How do you survive in a way? Like, how do you survive that? I be seeing fan animation of, of this man coughing and laughing, like, how is that even possible? I understand, I understand it's fiction, but jeez, y'all gonna have to educate me, man. Yeah, if it weren't for those faulty spring locks, I would have gotten away with it, too. If it wasn't for the meddling kids. Now imagine imagine Scooby messing around to get crushed. No?
For real? For for real? And there's actually voice actors. Wow. Okay. Okay. So that's a. All right. So one of these are our AI. I mean, it's it's pretty it's pretty easy to do Scooby and Shaggy's voice. I feel like Sweet Life of Shaggy. Huh. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I, I figured that those were, were AI. I figured. A, f a fly man? A flig man? That's what I mean? Yo, that's crazy, bro. We really just watched a whole Scooby Doo episode. Uh, we ain't talking about modern day Scooby Doo. We talking about Scooby Doo that our parents and grandparents seen. You know what I'm saying? Where they, we, we, we watching the Scooby Doo that they watched early in the morning for breakfast or after school. I'm not gonna lie, they got it down perfectly. The music, the sound effects, everything with it, perfect. You know, I feel like they should have like, like, like Scooby Doo, and Five Nights at Freddy. I honestly do feel like that they should have like some type of collaboration uh, episode, especially like how 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 they did it with Supernatural. I thought that was pretty cool too. How they did it with Supernatural, they should do it with uh, Five Nights at Freddy. I think that would be pretty dope. Because Scooby Doo itself is already popular, and then on top of Five Nights at Freddy. Having them going to investigate Freddy Fazbear Pizza. I think that would be something really cool that they should like really put out there. You know what I'm saying? But you know, we got we got Flyman Productions. Did I pronounce your name right? We got Flyman Productions. He already on top of it. He steps ahead. This is this is perfect. This is perfect. This is amazing. I actually enjoyed it, honestly. Cause it, it took me back. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all remember Boomerang. I know y'all remember Boomerang. I don't, I don't know how old my audience is, you know what I'm saying? But hopefully there's someone around my age. If you may be 18 and up, do y'all remember Boomerang? Magilla Gorilla. How, how did this song go? I got a gorilla for sale, Magilla Gorilla for sale, you know what I'm saying? I know y'all remember that. Batman Beyond popping up late at night. Samurai Jack. And remember when they had a little tourney toys before a show about to come up? Doom, 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 Like, bro, that's OGs right there. If y'all can remember that, y'all OGs, certified OGs. Niggas want to talk about some. <laughs> if you a 2000s baby, remember this. Remember Boomerang. I don't know how Boomerang is now, but Boomerang was the best. I miss Boomerang. I love it. But all right, y'all, man, y'all go ahead and let me know. Um. How y'all feel about, about this? Me personally, I enjoyed it. I thought it was perfect. It was great. And yeah, y'all educate me about the Five Nights at Freddy lore. You know what I'm saying? Y'all tell me what type of little fan animation or whatever I can react to so I can um, get educated. Because I don't know nothing about Five Nights at Freddy. I want to. I mean, I, I can't say I don't know nothing. I do know a little bit. I do know a good bit. Maybe just a little. I don't know. But I don't want to see some before I watch the movie on Peacock because it's going to be for free. Technically, kind of. Instead of going to the movies, I'm going to watch it on Peacock. But all right, y'all, man. Y'all go ahead and stay safe. Y'all stay blessed and y'all stay cozy. Cozy Joe's out. Love, peace, and chicken grease.